Oh. There has been a lot of characters in DC Comics and a lot of characters in general when it comes to fiction that don't really get the love they deserve because they're underrated or no YouTuber or anybody really wants to spend a whole video analyzing how strong they are, their powers and abilities because they're not really that well known. They don't think they're going to get that many views. But I'm one of those people that actually like going over characters that are not as well known. Kind of makes me unique in that own way and analyze how powerful they are. One of those characters being Blue Beetle himself or also there's been different Blue Beetles throughout the years. But it all started... As a high school student discovered the Blue Beetle Scarab have buried in a disused lot, took it home out of curiosity. That night as he slept, the Scarab came to life, binding to his spine, selecting him as its host. The new Blue Beetle is actually the third person to be the Blue Beetle after characters like Dan Garrett from the past and Ted Ford. Blue Beetle, baby. He's one of those characters that he's been involved with characters like Just League, DC Heroes, and even the Teen Titans and characters like that. And I will more than likely be putting this video in the Teen Titans playlist that I have on this channel. But he is starting to get some recent love, like his appearance in the new Injustice game, Justice 2. There's a lot of different aspects of him I can go over. To start off, the Scarab does give him actual large amounts of physical strength, super strength at that, being able to catch this large truck with one arm here. He can even lift up cars and stuff with ease with his raw strength. Strong enough to punch Black Beetle to the ground, nosebleed. You know Giganta, the large being that be in DC. He's actually strong enough to hold her hand apart. And look how massive she is, showing that he's got, he's more than likely in the hundreds of tons range of physical strength when it comes to pulling and pushing so far. I mean, she's got to weigh hundreds of tons, right? The thing about the Scarab, he actually is able to survive falls from orbit, durability-wise. Not to mention, he's actually completely bulletproof. He has some resistances, like telepathic resistances. He's gotten a scuffle with Lobo. Not necessarily slugged out with him fist to fist, but got slammed to the ground and was okay after it, showing his levels of durability. Nothing super flashy here, though. He can take hits from, like, Scarab warriors that have, like, yellow lantern rings. Something that's pretty powerful. Lanterns in general. You probably wonder where I'm going with this. Well... For one, he's consistently able to fight lanterns or power of lanterns. He actually got in a fight with being known as Guy Gardner Green Lantern. You're probably thinking he's a no-name Green Lantern. He's definitely a named Green Lantern. There is a lot of no-name Green Lanterns that don't even bother getting their name announced in comics, letting you know that, yeah, he might not be the top, top, top tier, but he is a named Green Lantern at least. The name Green Lantern at least have shown star level feats consistently. Like literally got in a tangle with Guy Gardner. Gotta love it. Taking multiple attacks from him durability wise as well. Give him a showcase of his power. We'll be coming back to this feat probably. He's one of those characters where he might not have one of the most flashy feats. But there is implications of his speed when it comes to his combat. Great example of that being that it is appearing that he can be at multiple places at once with his speed. This stays here. They even go into the numbers. Correction, Scarab Sub 2 arrived 0.5 milliseconds after Scarab Sub and Sub 3 entered 0.5 milliseconds after Sub 2. It's not at the exact same time. He's using the time dilation to cheat casual casuality. These events aren't really happening at the same time, just close enough to appear to be the same time to us. He's moving that quick. He's shown him to be able to block attacks. Just a little reaction time. Feats here and there. Oh, did I mention he can actually travel faster than the speed of light? No, nothing new for characters in DC. Let's be real. Believe it or not, Blue Beetle actually has some pretty decent defensive tech. Like if his durability isn't enough to suffice sometimes, he can actually generate little force fields to hold together this being's hands together. Like a little miniature force field with energy projection. That's pretty cool. He was able to disrupt this magic from his being known as Eclipso. So what if I told you his armor has different armor modes, awesomeness, like a strength mode and etc. getting bulky looking. This is the type of stuff I need to see more in media. He has a strength mode and speed mode. Gotta love it. And of course he can, he has enough shields and durability and with his scarab and technology and etc. He's able to withstand nuclear explosions durability wise and etc. No surprise here for a kid that is powerful, which is awesome to see though on panel though I will admit. So what if I told you he's, what, flash proof? A speed force user that tries to actually vibrate into the shield actually gets disrupted and hurts themselves doing so? Yep, that's right. A flash proof shield that hurts when he tries to vibrate through. Absolutely crazy, right? Speed force users beware of Blue Beetle. So hopefully you've gotten some respect for Blue Beetle so far. But one of the things that makes him even more of a threat is his offensive tech. Like his actual blast power. The, the main important stuff. We saw his super physical strength when it comes to lifting, pulling, and pushing. But let's talk about how strong he is when it comes to his blast power, attack power, and etc. The main important attribute of how you rank a character in tiers compared to other characters in tiers. Let's go and let's see how strong this guy is. He can literally produce nukes. He's that powerful. 
He has that kind of power. For those that still sleeping on his raw power when it comes to Scarab, he has weapons stated by the Scarab that can destroy the planet. I definitely think this statement is true for the simple fact it adds up with the feats that I'm going to show you or I have shown you already in this video, especially when it comes to his battle opponents with Green Lanterns, Yellow Lanterns, and etc. Stated here, I'm pretty sure I could turn this whole planet into cinders with it. These big old guns like this. This is consistent with characters like he's fought and like Guy Gardner being able to slug it out in fights or hurt beings like Guy Gardner when it comes to raw power output in general. So this statement about him being able to destroy the planet and him fighting Green Lanterns, they add up because Green Lanterns, we all know they can destroy planets. He has even destroyed magical monsters. He matches this being known as Starro, who was amped by five Sinestro rings, by the way. Got that much raw power. You know, lantern rings, you know, yellow lantern ring. Yeah, that type of thing. You still don't believe he's powerful enough to fight these lanterns or solar system black hole level beings? How about the fact he was able to actually temporarily kill a red lantern with his ability? Lantern Bleeze. He did this with a cryo blaster, but yeah, he can produce ice, you know, cryo. Things a lot of people don't know about Blue Beetle. Reminds me a lot of Iron Man in Bleeding Edge armor, if I'm being honest. Actually, he reminds me more of Iron Man in all new, all different armor, all these different weapons he can just produce. He has potentially lethal neural scramblers, beast mode. Okay, one of his best feats that a lot of people probably underlook is that Blue Beetle actually fought this being known as Omac Prime. Why is this impressive? This being has the powers of other powerhouse level beings like Captain Adam and freaking Wonder Woman. Yet, he tried to get the powers of Blue Beetle Scara was unable to do that, as you can see. He couldn't really control it. It was too much for him to handle that. You know, the Scarab is very unpredictable and hard to maintain. It had no problem absorbing Wonder Woman and stuff though, right? Or copying it. Tell me why Blue Beetle was actually able to one-shot a group of Omax. This is even more implication of him being in that powerhouse range of power. Not necessarily being equal to characters like Wonder Woman in him, but he's definitely not too far behind, I would say. Gotta let you know the abilities his tech must have. If a being this powerful that had no problem doing it to Wonder Woman, couldn't do it to him. Beast mode. Tell me why he's actually capable of affecting intangible beings as well. You got that right. Intangible. You know how Martian Manhunter goes intangible? Yeah, he's able to affect beings that can just go intangible. So what if I told you he actually has Beetle drones? Like the little small drones. Yeah, he can like shoot them off. Yeah, that type of thing. Here's more lore on Be Blue Beetle. And you get to see some lore behind his weaponry here. That he actually like assess it here. Shows some weapons that he has at his disposal. Option two. Strong force disruptor. Fatal. Option one. Large hydron accelerator. Potentially fatal. Nihilation field. Ridiculousness. He's very helpful in battle. Like using electric stuff to electrocute his giant being he can even restrain omax in magnetic fields he wanted to actually just destroy him but x has enough power to make a magnetic field that's pretty crazy nice ceiling abilities characters that like live wire he can actually feed on their energy and power i showed this earlier but him fighting land he's fought the scarab warrior with the lantern ring was actually able to win the battle by taking over his brain he's definitely in the lantern ranges of course uh, being a techie type of character of course he can actually hack into motherships weird abilities aside but uh he can kind of produce kryptonite radiation how though he can evidently levitate things as well with his abilities can like produce clothes out of nowhere he can even do cool stuff like hacking bangs what a useful ability like cyborg he's able to produce tachyons that can prevent time travel he's even able to absorb the energy of the world ripper the thing that had enough energy to Destroy planets. He's able to absorb that much energy, further implying that he's in those lantern rangers, being has in multiple planet level ish feats. The scarab can track any person that's made contact with Jamie in his life, and you know, search for him and all that stalker type stuff. He was even able to probe characters like the Phantom Stranger. You, you know what? I'm done. You, do you know who the Phantom Stranger is? The guy that be uh fighting Spectre, that same guy. He's even able to analyze Dan Garrett's ancestry. Back to the Guy Gardner feeds. You might not think Guy Gardner is nothing, but Guy Gardner is a Green Lantern, and they actually wanted to use Lethal Force on Blue Beetle, showing he's a threat to Green Lantern type characters enough to use Lethal Force and take attacks from characters like Guy Gardner, Green Lantern. Green Lanterns have ridiculous feats overall. Even in experience, he was able to fight on par with a Guy Gardner. And a lot of people like to disrespect Guy Gardner. I know this is an older comment, but just giving you a history lesson. Actually, arm wrestled Lobo. I'm just letting you know. Lobo. He was even able to break out of a construct being like holding him down by other Green Lanterns. Like multiple Green Lanterns were trying to hold him down. He was able to break out. He was even able to break Hal's constructs before. 
He was one of the few Green Lanterns that was able to resist Parallax, actual Parallax. So for Scarab to be able to fight Guy Garner is definitely no easy feat like you probably was originally thinking. Believe it or not, there is even heavy implications of him having massively fast and light combat speed, like being able to dodge Tachyon Blast. This is the occasion where I showed you him fighting intangible beings. He was also able to show some combat speed, dodging like light speed stuff. And if you're still thinking, oh, this is just that's just one feed, he does. How about I got some lore for you? Lore, aka writer intent for you for Scarab speed. How about characters like Supergirl? You know she has combat speed because she's a Kryptonian. She considered Blue Beetle fast. Like stated here, oh, you, he's fast. She stated it. Like he's not slow. She was trying to move out the way, letting you know his speed. He's durable enough to take hits from Speed Force users, like I showed you earlier. Reverse Flash. Did I mention this feat with Giganta? Oh, there's more to it. He was actually able to defeat Giganta in a string of attacks here and there. Nerve Strike. Got to love it. Night Night. He even fought the Spectre. Oh, my, I'm just kidding. He absolutely was able to do nothing against the Spectre, but I give him respect for trying. <laughs> but guys, that's just about going to do it for Blue Beetle. I definitely believe he at least belongs in the Guy Gardner range of power, Green Lantern range of power. As you can see, I showed you in this video that Guy Gardner isn't as weak as you probably thought. I believe he's in the Green Lantern range. I wouldn't necessarily say he's like in the Wonder Woman or Superman ish ranges. I would say like he's below them, but it's not an astronomical gap. If I had to say a good power to rank him at, I would say he's probably around the level of power as characters like starfire that's fair right i would say that's fair i mean plus he's been a titan they're in that weird tier like in it they're like the captain marvel tier of range of characters for dc like you know how marvel i say that captain marvel is a powerhouse but she's still not quite up there with thornium i feel like that's where these guys go in the category for dc like she might not be up there with superman wonder woman but she ain't that far behind to the point where she would just get molested by them if they fought like it's like one of those weird situations like guy gardner level green lantern range starfire range that type of range of power i think that's where blue beetle goes he's really haxy can create radiation can create pretty much any weapon you can think of out of them doggone arms has weapon lethal weapons even stated out of his mouth he can destroy the planet multiple times this is backed up by the fact that he can fight yellow lantern people people that possess yellow lantern rings uh, actual green lantern himself and i even showed you what guy gardner has done in the past so that definitely backs that up he can move at the speed of light be able to dodge tachyons he can hit intangible people he's just somebody that should not be slept on and you got to respect them respect the blue beetle I will see you guys next time. Check out those playlists, playlists, playlists. Post your comments down below. Let me know what you all think. Check out the description for stuff that you might like, affiliate links, and things like that. Make sure you post them comments down below and let me know what you all think. I'll see you guys next time. Respect the Blue Beetle.